My name is Nathan San Miguel, and I am currently the senior class president of class of 2016 at South Houston High School. South Houston High School in comparison to other schools may be small, but there's something we do excel at, and that is pride. We have pride in ourselves, we have pride for our fellow peers, we have pride in our school. At the end of the day, whether we succeed or are short of succeeding in our goals as a school, we will always call South Houston High School our home. Being a senior, how has South Houston High School affected you? When I was a freshman, I was still kind of shy, but um, I came out of my shell more and more like throughout the years and throughout my high school experience. So now that I'm a senior, um, I go to like every football game, I volunteer for a lot of things, I do community service, and I plan to do that still after I graduate. So and that's really good for me, you know, builds up my self-esteem and yeah. I think it's always the struggle and the the want to leave something behind, to leave like a legacy or leave some sort of trace, some sort of footprint. So I guess that affected me in the way that I, I'd want to get involved more, uh, get into people's uh, lives in a positive way, affect them in a positive way, um, get remembered like that, I guess. Well, I'd say that Coming in here at first, I was a different person than I am now. I'm pretty sure that applies to a lot of people. Just being at Southeast and High School, you get to find yourself. Because the students here, they're I, I think they're a lot I think they're more unique in the aspect of hospitality. As soon as you walk in those doors, you already have upperclassmen, even lower classmen just here to open their arms and just welcome you. So I guess that struck me to be who I am today and I want to pay it forward and open my arms and just did what the upperclassmen did when I was a freshman. So. have a hall of history you've got to have a history this is a history that you all made and to be at the point in a an organization's existence where you want to have a hall of history it has to be a history you're proud of and it's pretty clear that students whether past or present are proud to be from here so what we have today is a lens that looks at the past and hopefully focuses the future and that's what the hall of history is all about making those connections between what we do here and what happens because of the foundation that we lay here at South Houston High School. So it's always go Trojans! What are your thoughts on the museum opening alongside your senior graduation? I actually find that very awesome. Um, just like knowing when you can go inside there and you can see all of South Houston's history and past and what they've been through and what they've done. Like knowing that in a few years I can come back and see like some of us there, that would be very awesome. I think it's great because, you know, we should never forget where we came from and to get ahead I think we should always keep a, a foot in the past. Not for not to keep stuck or to get backtrack, but I think to progress we have to know where we came from. So I think, I think that's a good idea. I, I love it. Well, when I first found out about it, it was towards the end of the summer, and I was extremely impressed, and I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know it was being built, and I think it's really unique, because as far as I know, we're the only high school in the district that has something like that, and it really just shows past students' legacies that have been left here, and it just goes back to that notion of inspiration. You, know, you want to leave something behind here, something great or be something great. Who would you say impacted you the most throughout your high school career? My friends mostly, and all the teachers that I've had, um, but mostly my friends, they taught me, like, now they help They help me uh, maintain my grades and they uh, check up on me and see how I'm doing, so that's, they motivate me a lot, and uh, not that I want to be like them, um, but just someone in that category who, like, helps a lot of people, so. I'd say, 
it would have to be a combination of my video tech people and my and my theater people. I guess it helped me discover my love and passion for filmmaking. Um, I guess before that, I kind of never knew I wanted to do this. But um, also, not only that, but I guess it, it helped me character-wise, helped me de uh, to deal with people, helped me manage with uh, uh, with certain different characters and stuff like that. I guess uh, also taught responsibility. Um, a bunch of stuff like that that uh, you would see in a leader, I guess. So I'm really great, grateful for that. It's not who impacted me, but it, it's a group of individuals. And I have to say it was the class of 2014. And I say that because they were unique. They were one of the, the classes that just felt made my freshman year feel very welcoming. And all the, you know, they were really smart, you know. A lot of them had a lot of academic achievements. They were leaders to some organizations. And, you know, a lot of them were really creative, artistic. You know, they had so many good qualities that, you know, many people wish they had or want to have or strive to have. And it's just, you know, good role models. You know, they were really good role models. And I looked up to them. And I hope I could do the same way they did. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them.